So what is machine learning? If you look at the Gartner Ascendancies or Analytics Value Ascendancy chart, right? It's a very famous chart that's uh, provided by Gartner. So what, what we want to do in terms of using analytics, right? Is from a journey from information to optimization. Remember that I, I mentioned earlier, the ultimate goal here is actually to optimize something, right? In fact, I can uh, confidently say that this is to optimize the cost. So for example, when you go to hospital, what do you want to optimize? You don't want to uh, short to cut the waiting time, right? But to reduce the waiting time is actually to optimize your user experience. You want to optimize your entire experience while you're with hospitals. Think of the same thing, right? When you go to, let's say, Haiti Lao uh, restaurants, why people say that the, the experience is so good and they don't mind waiting at the waiting area? In fact, some people love to wait at the waiting area because they get free popcorns, they get free games to play. That's because the experience is optimized, but not by reducing the waiting hours, but they make your waiting hours more pleasant. And the reason why you hate to wait at the hospital is because the experience is not pleasant, okay? So, in this chart, right, it describes the type of analytics where we perform. And also, if you look at it, from left to right is what is difficult, okay? The, the one on the left-hand side is the easiest, hence it has the lowest value, okay? So, descriptive analytics is the one that everybody is doing. Uh, look at pie chart, look at bar chart, look at line chart is to look at uh, information that has happened in the past. We basically just look at descriptive analytics to learn what happened. Oh, um, your sales go down by 20% last month. Okay, your, uh, your churn rate of a telco companies go down by 15% uh, last quarter, for example. Those sort of things are descriptive analytics. And then we start to study why did it happen and the, the valuable parts comes from this part, right? After you have gained insight, not just insight, but actionable insights, then you are able to predict using some machine learning models what will happen. And that actually is will help you to make decisions to uh, prescribe what you're going to do, right? Prescriptive analytics. So it could be how can we make it happen again or how can we prevent it from happening, all right? So... The left-hand side is what we call business intelligence. Basically, that's a bit, I wouldn't say just say old school for the sake of saying it, but it's a bit traditional, a bit conventional. Everybody is doing it, business intelligence. And this is what most of the companies are doing. All right, if you are looking for a career or you are looking to start a new company, forget about this part, right? There are, there are hundreds and thousands of companies and software are doing business analytics and also BI. And these, these are the people who are business analysts, data analysts, and there are tons of them out there. So if you're looking to uh, get into a new career, okay, don't, don't look into this area. But in fact, what you want to look at is, you want to look at the area, what we call AI, right? AI happens after you have done your modeling, you have done your predictive analytics. And AI is the ultimate goal that a lot of companies or even countries, they are, they're raising towards getting there. So it is about seeing who gets there first. All right. So in order to achieve that, we're, we're, we're needing this technique called predictive analytics. Predictive analytics is actually for us to use machine learning models or statistical models to help us to analyze our data. And from those data, we want to build models that can predict, forecast, and gain actionable insights that help our stakeholders or help us to make decisions. I'll give you an example, right? This is a startup that I co-founded uh, called Hero Boyfriend when I was in Australia. So at a glance, right, it looks like a mobile app, but mobile application is just the front end. It's just the user interface that uh, our users interact with us. Behind the scene is actually uh, NLP, a natural language processing engine that help us to talk to the boyfriend, understand, then what are their needs? And from there, we try to capture and analyze the intention so that they know uh, what sort of gifts they, they are able to buy for their girlfriends or partners. So from our end, we collect the information, we will chat with them, right? What we're going to do is we use natural language processing to help them to know, learn more about their girlfriend, right? You, I mean, if, if, you, if guys are listening to this webinar, you know how hard is it to 
understand your girlfriend. And for girls, you are listening to my webinar now. You should know how hard is it for your boyfriend just to understand you. Why is it so hard for you to understand something, right? Okay, so this is what this app, uh, Hero Boyfriend, does. We collect information uh, by by using a chat bot. So we ask the boyfriend like, hey, what your girlfriend's likes? Uh, is she an indoor, outdoor person? Does she likes rock climbing, yoga? And from there, we are able to build a profile. And by using this profile, we can pretty accurately recommend them things that the, the boyfriend uh, would, would be able to ask the girlfriends to do. Right? For example, uh, if, if she is someone that likes uh, indoor activities, then we'll recommend them some uh, couple or tandem yogas or they can go out for a trip together and they shouldn't go for too you know noisy type of events not asking them to go for some rock concerts but if somebody who is more outdoor and you, we can recommend them to things like uh, kayak or uh, you know cooking classes together yeah and also from there we are we're able to recommend them what sort of gifts to buy so so that's a bit of the this story of course there's something that's super hard that we'll never 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 ever be able to do is to recommend them what to eat for lunch all right this this is something that uh, even nasa scientists still can figure out all right so this is uh this is what i use data science and machine learning in real life to solve a problems and then using full stack development skills or web development skills to turn it into a product and eventually turn it into a startup company okay.